Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising, a weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, uh, 2019. And bear with me just a, a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week and isn't that a, a winner here, we do have the two of cups followed by the second one which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome of the ten of pentacles. Third card, it is the ten of wands which is the positive aspects of the week for you and the last one here which is the guidance the tarot is offering that is to be the uh, Six of Swords, so the Ten of Pentacles, most important card here, which pretty much says, can you trust or can you not trust? But we are going to get in this in a minute. So Two of Cups uh, is going to be catalyzed in this case uh, by the Page of Wands, and that is pointing to a jumping into the old branches, all right? It is not about new love. It is a, about an, an old one that comes around. This time around, right? It's just appearing once again from the shades, if you will. Um, so two of cups here points that with the old people, you are likely to have these warm type of relationships in between. So I mean that with the co-workers into your career, it is likely to have a, a very good relationships in your, with your friends, with your current friends. It is likely to have a very good relationships, very good cooperations, fruitful cooperations. But above everything else, these two cards are really saying that in an old love is going to spring once again right with the page of wands these two cards are a passive enemies and as the newness is the enemy to the um, to the love so that only means that the old love is going to be resuscitated once again is this gonna work out well that depends on you guys I mean it does depend like I said can you trust it or can you not which um, pretty much leads us to the next card here uh, that represents the challenges. This is going to be the Ten of Pentacles and it is accompanied with the Page of Cups. So we do have a passive friends in this position. Oh my. All right. So uh, Ten of Pentacles uh, with the Page of uh, Cups points that can you this time around see the things in a different light? All right. Now, the person that comes back into your life, uh, it looks like that they want another shot. Now, the thing is that uh, for one or another reason, I cannot say that they have really changed, but I say that they are getting there, right? And uh, as they are getting there, they need a certain help. They kind of like they need someone to give them a, an a, um, 
assurances, if you will, that if they undergo and complete the transformation, they are going right. Now, there are to be certain results out of it, right? It's not going to be in vain, if you will. So the challenge itself here, it is a two things. You to keep a distance and in the same time, keep on um, feeding the interest of that person that comes back and simultaneously um, allow that trust that person to um, to have a chance to regain your trust once again. And as you do so, um, it will be a bit difficult for you to feel comfortable throughout the week, all right? Because that thing is going to constantly nagging on the back of your head. But uh, these two cards are pointing as well that um, uh, simultaneously you can kind of have a quality and good time with your friends and, uh, you know, with your co-workers as well. So you don't have to constantly overthink in it. It is just whenever the chance arises to have a chip chat with that person or to just, you know, spend some time with them, do it. But keep your distance once again, because you need to show them that you are out of their dependency. And now it is their turn to chase you instead of how it, it turned out back in the days that probably you have chased them. And... Um, as we touch that topic of um, can you trust them or not, or can you teach yourself to trust them or not? Well, I don't know. Or can you uh, overcome the barrier of mistrust here? Well, that can only happen if you completely disregard the previous details of how the old relationship in between you two ended, but instead focus on the overview. So what I mean here, it is that instead of thinking of that you can repeat the same mistake back again, once again, okay, focus on what could have been if those mistakes weren't there and focus on what can be once that person earns your trust and undergo the change in a way that you like them to be, again, a part of your life. So the other card here, it regards to the positive aspect of the week and that is going to be the Ten of Wands and it will be accompanied with the King of Pentacles. We do have an active neutrals in this particular position, and uh, basically what those two cards here are pointing, it is that uh, you need to keep up with the dynamic of the week. Like I said, uh, there are to be many people involved there. I mean, you are going to be surrounded by a, a lot of people, and um, as you do so, how can I say it? Um, you have to attend accordingly to the enterprises that are uh, including those people. So what I mean here, it is that if someone does not require your attention for a long time, do not give them a, a, a long term attention. All right. Or if someone does require a, a long term attention, give them a, a long-term attention. And it's kind of like going by with the needs of others, the way that uh, with the right uh, with the right measures according to those needs. It's very, it's very difficult to, uh, to divulge it. But to give you an example, friend calls and asks you to go out on, uh, um, on a coffee with them, all right? Just go out on a coffee, don't aim to go um, afterwards on a pub or on a bar unless they do not suggest it, okay? So it's kind of like play by the rules that uh, are established uh, or pre-established as the endeavors uh, goes on. Additionally to that, these uh, two cards, oh my God, these two cards here are pointing that from some of the enterprises and from some of the endeavors that you are to have throughout the week, um, you are to reap bigger benefits than the incorporation you can do, okay? So more things can came out of them than, uh, the, the, than you have initially anticipated that it comes from the neutrality of the uh, King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, but, uh, and the Ten of Wands, excuse me, but you have to give an, an, that, that impression that you are ready to, uh, to play or, or to play the dance uh, until the end, if you will. And additionally, in a positive aspect, the Ten of Wands points that um, 
the enterprises you are to face, almost all of them, if not all of them, are going to be pretty awesome. Okay, it's just is what it says. They are going to be pretty awesome, although a bit time consuming. And uh, the only thing that you should be scared of it is having way too much on your platter. All right, way too much awesome enterprises that at some point you have to choose which one to drop off. All right, it's kind of like because sometimes that is a a, a bad decision as well, or kind of like a poignant decision as well, having all these good things and you just can't have them all so you have to choose one over a another and the last card that we do have in regards to the guidance that Tara is offering here we do have the six of swords and it is accompanied by the five of wands we do have a, an active friends into this position and that regards all about the two of cups it does point that you have to just take the leap of faith but this time around there is to be an, an around turn into the previous situation it points that this is to be a pleasant surprises it points that your fear it is just in your head in your mind and there is in reality nothing for me to be nothing for you to be afraid of it points that this is a threshold that you just need to close your eyes and traverse one way or another and uh, not only about that person in fact some of the enterprises that the people you are surrounding yourself with throughout the week are also going to be like this at uh, the whole point of these two guidance cards guys it is uh, that um Sometimes you just need to trust the universe, all right? Sometimes you can't predict everything and uh, sometimes uh, the good things happen out of nowhere. And uh, these two cards here are pointing that there are so much more for you to explore, so many other new shores for you to explore. I mean, this, um, uh, th this person, although old person that you already had thing with, all right? The thing that you can have with them in the future can be completely different in nature from the one that you have before. So you should not be biased that the thing is going to simply, you know, deteriorate. So if you are hoping for a reconciliation, Pisces, well, maybe that's the week, all right? If you're hoping for a regaining back an old friend, well, that is the week where you start doing it. So if you hope to get back to your job, well, that's the week for it as well, all right? Just close your eyes, guys, and allow the good things to happen because uh, there are to be many, many pleasant surprises for you to this uh, in this week, November 18th to November 24th, but one of them really takes the cake. And that is the very unexpected opportunity for you to reforge back a thing you have lost in the day, back in the days. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, November twenty, uh, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.